So last week I unboxed the DJI Inspire 1. It came with this really cool 4K camera. But this camera also has a handle mount, so you can handhold this camera and operate it that way. I'm going to unbox those pieces today. Hey YouTube, this is Pep Tech, and today I've got some new gear to unbox that will add functionality to the camera I already have that came with the Inspire 1. This is called the Osmo. And uh, this comes all together in one kit. It's a nice black camera. I don't think it's a, I think it's very nearly the same camera, but maybe not exactly the same from some of the stuff I saw. It looks like it has some locking mechanisms and other things that are a little different. But if you did happen to buy the Inspire one, you can buy just the handle parts of that kit. Uh, if you bought the Osmo, it does come with this nice little violin case looking case and uh, uh, the colors probably match up a little better. This is white and I believe this is black. But we're going to unbox it, try it out, and uh, see how this kit does. Okay, so the primary part of this kit, of course, is the handle. Another component to this is the part that holds your camera on the side. You also have a battery charger and the battery itself. Alright, so let's open these up. We'll start with this. You can sort of instantly see the quality of this thing. Looks like it's aluminum, metal, very nice, very sturdy looking. It's the battery charger. And that's what that looks like, and of course it comes with a cable. All right. Next up is the battery. All their packaging is so nice. It's just real, real understated black, very moody for a battery packaging. Looks like a little wafer of some sort. Okay. Battery! And the main piece. So this just pushes out. All right, and there's the controller. It's got a little knob here to control the camera. It's got all the camera controls. Button here for more camera controls. It's got a line in here so you can add audio. Apparently the audio isn't too great on these things. And uh, some other stuff. I'm not sure what everything does. That's obviously a power for power there. There's some little light indicators. Okay. All right. Making a mess. I was kind of, it's got some teeth there. Just screw it down. You can get it in a position you want. Let's kind of lock it down. Right. There's a little red tab right there, and there's a little tab right here. So I'm guessing that just slides in like so. Well, let's pull out the camera. This unlocks much like the Inspire does. You just kind of twist, twist right here, and this comes off the top. Set the there. Okay. Much like the Inspire, this does work with the DJI Go app, which is handy. You don't have to learn a whole new program. It just works just fine. Oh wow, that extends out. Okay. So slide in here. In case you're wondering, that's the iPhone 6, but it does work on Android as well. Okay. So unlike the Inspire, this has to be connected to your Wi-Fi, so you have to sync them up. So I'm gonna do that now, play with it, and then we'll see how it works. Wow, so it actually wants you to activate this with DJI before it really starts to do anything. Activation, okay. Update firmware. I'm downloading the firmware. I'm just gonna go ahead and get that out of the way. As it beeps at me. This itself, this mechanism itself feels pretty light, but this thing, this big metal thing holding my phone on the side really makes you want to go. <sighs> All right, so the camera firmware has updated and it wants me to restart the device now. As you can hear, it's got that beep to let you know it's done. 
Also has this fan. Can you hear this fan going? It's kind of interesting, this sort of little muffin fan. Let's turn this off. Then back on. I'm just using the thumb grip. You can move this camera all the way around. It's gimbaled, which should keep it nice and steady. No matter how you turn it. So this would be like really sickening on any other kind of camera, but this you just get kind of a slight sense that it's moving. <laughs> I love when it wakes back up. That's pretty cool. Seems like a pretty decent picture. A little bit steadier maybe than what you'd typically get with a handheld camera. All right, I think I'm gonna take this out and play with it and kind of see what I can see.
Okay, folks, that's all I got for you today. Until next time, follow your bliss. Have a great week. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.